Hello friends, previously we have seen about Belgium and Sri Lanka. Two cases we have seen, first Belgium, second Sri Lanka. And now we are going to discuss about that power sharing is necessary. Why? Why power sharing is desirable? Two cases we have seen, case of Belgium and Sri Lanka. So of course you got uh, idea that Belgium has adopted series of power sharing steps. As a result, we know that today Belgium is a prosperous country and people live with peace and harmony. And vice versa, in the case of Sri Lanka, people still suffer there. Occasionally, that due to conflict between two communities, Sri Lanka often them. So now, let's see why power sharing is desirable. <clears throat> So, two different sets of reason we can give why power sharing is desirable or why power sharing is necessary. First sets of reason will count as prudential reason. The word prudential means like uh, we can get it through calculation, means we can see the output, we can see the result, we call it prudential. Second, moral reason. So, let's see first, prudential reason. So, we can say that by the cases of Sri Lanka and Belgium that power sharing reduces conflict and tensions between the communities. So, it reduces social conflicts. <clears throat> right? And the second reason is due to it reduces social conflicts as a result it maintains political stability. <clears throat> Third reason that power sharing is good way to ensure stability of political order. Now, third, <clears throat> imposing the will of majority community over minority community seems beneficial, sounds good, but it is only for the short period of time. Like in case of Sri Lanka, Sihala recognizes an official language, preferential policy adopted, right, as well as Buddhism fosters and patronized, we can say, by the state. So those steps uh, sound good, but for a short period of time, in the long run, we can see that it leads to all those steps lead conflict between two communities. But if we maintain power sharing like Belgium for a long time, that is the best option. So, power sharing undermines the unity of the nation with the same time it maintains diversity. So, it also reduces that conflict between the community. Tyranny of majority is not just oppressive to the minority. Right? Because uh, for a short period of time, the particular community may bear that tyranny of majority. But uh, for a long period of time, they will raise their voice, which lead to conflict and civil war, like in the case of Sri Lanka. So those are the prudential reasons. Now the moral reasons we are talking about. Second, the deeper reason why power sharing is good for democracy. Because it is a very spirit of democracy. In democracy, we have learned about detail all in nine standard. And power sharing is very spirit of democracy. Because democracy, we know that actually very basic thing, the basic definition what we have learned of, of democracy is rulers elected by the people and those rulers from the people only. And they get decisions, they get decision powers, and they make decisions on behalf of the people. So, in the heart of democracy, we can see that there is power sharing. Because people together cannot make the decision, but yes, their representatives can do so. So, moral reason we can count power sharing as very spirit of democracy. Second, a democratic rule involves sh sharing power with those affected by its exercise. 
and who have to live with this fact because it's all about the people. Democracy is all about the people. So they should have right to make decision. They should have right to take participate in the decision making process. That can be possible through power sharing. People have right to consulted on how they are to be governed. They decided who governed them and how. A legitimate government is one where citizen through participation acquire stack in government because practically people directly cannot involve in governance, but yes, they can through their representation. So here a legitimate government is the one where citizen take part in the governance where they take part directly or indirectly in the system and power sharing help them. So here those are two reasons, prudential reasons which are visible and second we call reasons are moral reasons. So sets of reasons, prudential and power sharing. Thus we can say that uh, power sharing is desirable for any country and the most important for any democracy, we can say that power setting is a necessary condition. But uh, there is one more question. Now, here we have seen two cases of Belgium and Sri Lanka, and uh, by those cases, uh, we got the conclusion that power setting is necessary. Yes, it is necessary. Indeed, it is necessary. But uh, now let's see in democracy, there are different forms of power sharing. How do they power share? So there are different forms of power sharing because the idea of power sharing has emerged in opposition to the nation of undivided political power. Like in uh, dictatorship or if we talk about uh, monarchical form of government where power remain concentrated in hands of monarch or dictator. But in democracy, those powers given to the people that we call power sharing. So one basic principle of uh, power sharing <coughs> that is people are the source of all political power. That is democracy. People, those who are the most important. People, those who are in the center. People. <coughs> so in a good democratic government, due respect is given to diverse group and views that exist in a society. Everyone has voice in the setting of public policies. People have their different demands. Nowadays we are locked down due to that uh, pandemic of uh, COVID-19 virus and we have different view. And uh, as responsible citizens, we support the government decision. But uh, at the same time, we have right to criticize them. Because we are the people, we have right to do so. So here uh, we can say that uh, it follows that in democracy that uh, political powers should be distributed among the many citizens of the people, as many as possible. <clears throat> so in modern democracy, power sharing arrangements can take different forms. There are different forms of power sharing. So let's take a look on different forms of power sharing. The very basic form of power sharing is power sharing between different organs of the government. Organs is like we, your body has different organs. Same, the system, the government, the state has different organs. And this principle is taken from the French society after the French Revolution. The French Republic declared the different organs of the government, which we know as legislature, executive, and judiciary. Today, in all modern democracy, they have adopted the similar manner, similar system. So power shared among different organs of the government, such as legislature, executive, and judiciary. This type of power share, power sharing is called horizontal power sharing. Because these different organs of the state are parallel, they are parallel on one line, they are horizontal line. 
none of them are above or below, but they are part of one system and they are on horizon line. That is why called horizontal power sharing. <coughs> so such organs exercise their unlimited power. They have their own power. First legislature, that means our elected representative. In democracy, we elect our representative and they are the legislature. So legislature, they represent people's issues, their problems. They seek solution for the people, for their people, for their area. They are legislature. Second, we count executive. Among those legislature, certain people got powers, position, like uh, president, like head of nation, prime minister, head of the government, as well as there are different ministers in different departments. They are the executive, those who execute the law. And the third one is judiciary. Judiciary means the system of court. So they are three organs of the state and they exercise unlimited power. But in spite of their unlimited power, they look after each other. Means uh, legislature has right to ask decision executed by executives they ask them as well as judiciary which plays important role in any democracy <clears throat> judiciary can uh, take reviews that decision taken by executives so although we know that uh, judges of supreme court appointed by executives but it doesn't mean they are subordinate of them they are independent same, this arrangement is called horizontal power share, where they functioning parallel on one line called horizontal line. Second form of power sharing is vertical power sharing, means different layers, different tires, different levels. So here, government has different levels. For any country, we know that on the top level, that is central government, sometimes refer as federal government or union government in case of India. In USA, we call federal government. So they are on the top. After them, second level, that is provincial government or in case of India, we call state government, like Gujarat government, government of Gujarat, government of Maharashtra, government of Rajasthan. They are on second level on the top level government of india and uh, in case of india as well as some other countries they have third level of government which is local level government where we count uh, government of particular city particular town or particular village that is local government in the case of india in village government village panchayat for small towns municipal council and for large cities municipal corporation they are on third level they are not subordinate of each other that means local government or state government they are not subordinate of central government but yes they have their own areas which are prescribed by the constitution <clears throat> and uh, they do not generally involve in the decision making process means state has own right to make decision central government generally does not interfere <clears throat> so this second level we call vertical level of government further about this second level vertical government we will learn in detail in the very next chapter federalism in india third form of government which is among social group power share among different social groups. The best example we can take of Belgium, where we have seen uh, horizontal power sharing where legislature, executive and judiciary, yes, we have seen. Second, we have seen that uh, power shared to, from central government to provincial government. That is second form. And third one, we can say that community government, which is example of third type of power sharing 
power shared among different social groups. In case of India, we can say that certain seats are reserved for scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, as well as at local level, seats are reserved for women as well. So, these are, we can say that, social groups, power shared among different social groups. This form of power sharing for improved position of vulnerable groups, mm. vulnerable social groups, reservation system. We know that scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, these groups are weaker groups, vulnerable groups in India. So, for well-being of them, special reservation seats, constituencies are granted by the constitution. So, this arrangement gives the special powers and opportunities to particular social groups and sometimes all the social groups. Now, fourth type of power sharing, the last form of power sharing is power sharing arrangement we see, we observe in political parties, different pressure groups and movement, political parties. In democracy, we know that there are many political parties. We have learned earlier one party political system and multi party political system. In case of India, we follow multi party political system. In China, one party political system. So in India, there are many political parties. We have right to form our political party if we fulfill the eligibility. So here, political parties also influence in government system. How? <clears throat> Even small political party, we know that they have less opportunity to win the election. But yes, they can make influence through the alliance with the larger political parties as well as they can form coalition government. Alliance. Alliance is the system where political parties get together and contest the election. One or more political parties get together and form the election. They keep their own ideology, they put their own conditions, they make decisions in their own way, but they want to form government. They are not able to do so. So in a group, they form a group alliance and contest the election. Second is coalition government. When none of the party got a clear majority, in that case, two or more parties come together to form the government, that is coalition government. In both the cases, small political parties those who are not able to form the government, but they can execute their ideology, they can execute their policy through the alliance and through coalition government. So political parties influence in this way. More about political parties, political parties also, they also that reflect public opinion in the government. They bring up our issues to the government to the system. So thus political parties make influence. Or we can say that here pressure groups. Pressure groups mainly here unions, organizations of different people like union of farmers, union of meal workers, union of teachers, union of businessmen, organizations. Sometimes they pressurize government to make certain decisions or they want to avoid the decision taken by the government. They sometimes pressure the government to take back the decision. This way those social groups influence in government system. So here these are the pressure groups, unions, organizations and political parties make influence in the government. So, in this chapter, we learn about the power sharing. What is power sharing? Instead of concentration of powers in one hand or few hands, here power sharing, that means sharing of powers among different organs of the government, different levels of the government, among different communities, sharing of power 
among different political parties and pressurized groups. More we have seen in this chapter why power sharing is desirable as in <clears throat> brief we can say that prudential reasons and second moral reasons. So this chapter is all about power sharing. <clears throat> More about this chapter's note will be provided you soon as well as few practice questions. See you soon with the second chapter of political science, federalism. Federalism we have seen here in brief that is a form of power sharing among different levels of the government. So, see you soon. Thank you so much.